What is up guys? We are here in Farmington, Utah, just north of Salt Lake. I got some fitness friends out here. So I came up yesterday, came up to Keaton's wild Halloween party. Today's the day after. Some people are a little bit hungover. We got quads though with world renowned power lifter, Steffi Cohen. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna do quads, we're gonna do glutes, we're gonna basically get our ass kicked by her. Let's go say hi to these guys. How's everyone doing after last night? I mean, How are you? Oh, Surviving. Shredded, obviously. You are. The alcohol diet. <laughs> Who looks this good after a party? All right, we got legs today. All right, let's do it before I regret. All right, let's do it. Getting a little bit of a, a warm up here. We're gonna be doing a superset. We got front squats and we got hamstring curls. So front squats gonna be a little bit more anterior part of the legs. We're not getting as much glute in there. Front rack if you can here or cross your arms. But again, working a lot more. People ask me all the time, hey, if I don't want, well, not all the time, but some people don't want to develop glutes. If you don't want your, if you don't want your glutes overbuilt, but you want big legs, front squat instead of back squat. <laughs> and Yeezys. Yeah, Those are some of the, actually the comfiest shoes. So what we're gonna ask, we're gonna ask Steffi what the Yeezys do for her squat form because they're super soft. I'll, I'll give her that. But you, we're squatting on plates today. When you when you squat on an elevated plate, essentially, it does the same for wearing like Addy Powers, wearing an Olympic lifting shoe. Get it up there. Even forces more on the vastus medialis front of the front of part of the leg, anterior part of the leg. Obviously, when you squat down, the deeper you go, the more it's going to transfer to that posterior chain. This is a lot more quads at the top of the movement than all the way down. If you want to just work more glutes, pulsing, that's why you see all these girls on Instagram using their, their booty bands, pulsing in that squat position. Because the deeper you are, the more posterior, the more glute focused it's going to be. So we're, be, we're really doing a lot of anterior what, leg work here, but you can see. She's not messing around with the weight here. You know it's a good workout when everything's just like one big mush of jelly right now. I haven't trained quads like this. This is how I rep stuff. What do you reps on things? It's getting me. Between the elevation, we're about 5,500 feet elevation and just those that volume body's uh yelling at me right now but I love collabing i miss collaborating with people on youtube it's just when you collaborate with people that are pushing you you go to a new level find that person that pushes you guys Special guest Kristen in the house. Can I just say, can we please hit arms afterwards? Absolutely. Because we're doing legs, and uh, we all love legs. But let's be honest, when you're when you're staring at these all day, you want to you want to go lift some arms. So. How many world records? 25. Oh my gosh, 25 <laughs> world records. So, I mean, you've dominated that sport. Now you're doing different things. The boxing, I was, I, I mean, again, I can tell when people are passionate about things and competitive. I can tell that right off the bat, you're competitive with that. And when you do something, you do it to be the best. Saturday workout, a little bit of biceps, legs, 
and arms. It's not a bad day when you're just hitting legs and arms. The legs, legs is like, that was, that's the, the, the meat and potatoes of the workout. Arms are a little uh, Halloween candy to go with it. So we're gonna finish up here, and then we're gonna sit down, talk with Steffi, strongest woman I've ever met, maybe strongest woman in the world. So we wanna talk to her a little bit about what she's been up to, what she's doing, and uh, yeah, get her take on some things. So this is this is technically my first full off season okay. from powerlifting, where I'm really putting in effort to like gaining some conditioning back, yep. gaining some athleticism. And you're doing all of those things. I see you on your Instagram doing sprints. You're quick. You can tell you got a lot of fast switch muscle fibers. It, it's getting soccer, good. obviously. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm getting back there. It's uh, when you do powerlifting for a long time, you start getting kind of like a specialized, tin, like a tin foil. Just yep. metal tube yep. that can't move in any other way. That plane is just boom. besides up and down. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm gaining that back, and it's nice, like just moving in different directions and and showcasing your athleticism. 